there's three primary audiences. So here we are in Business Manager under our asset library. And you have all these amazing features. And there's three audiences I can build. I can build custom, lookalike, or saved audiences. And we want to go through kind of how you should actually build these the right way. Because I see so many times people are, are doing these, but they're, they're broken, right? They're missing some basic fundamentals. So let's start off with a custom audience. So a custom audience, to Dennis's point, is the crown jewels of Facebook. There's many different types of custom audiences. A fancy way of thinking it or a simple way is these are all people that have had some kind of previous interaction with your brand, which means maybe they watched your video, maybe they were on your site, maybe they gave you their email address or they clicked wow. like on one of your posts. There's many different ways, but they've had some kind of interaction, right? So first thing is I choose my if then sequence. So for example, for engagement, I can say if they watched the a video, then do this. So I can say people watch three seconds, 10 seconds, and I see a lot of people will target 50% or 75%. We like to target a 10 second view because unless you, you want to avoid having an audience that's too small. That's like a question people ask us all the time. Like how big should my audience be? Well, sometimes you're limited, but in general, if your audience is too small, then your CPM is going to be higher because Facebook's going to have a, a, a more difficult time serving those ads. Let's say the audience is only 10,000 people. Well, not every single user gets online every day. And beyond that point, those 10,000 people are also being targeted by other advertisers the average user is being targeted over 2,000 times per day. So now you've chosen a really small bucket. So to serve ads to them, it becomes a little bit expensive. So start with the 10 second view. We can always create more audiences later on. We can you know, try 50%, but don't cut off things too early. And we'll talk about that principle in a little bit. So 10 seconds, I can choose particular videos. So I can even see the video views. So this is really great. I can target based off something that's organic, right? I don't have to retarget based off spend. And I can choose one particular video or I could even choose multiple videos. If I wanted, we call this a mega video view audience. So I could just say anyone that's watching any of my videos, you know, this one's got 3,300, this one's 2,100, right? So I could say, sure, mega video view audience. 